This is a good time. Hopefully, uh, everyone's had a chance to have at least one hamburger. I want to thank uh, Neil Freeman. Neil, raise your hand. Neil just stepped up and started grilling, so thank you so much, Neil. And then I want to thank uh, my battle buddy from Afghanistan, uh, 06 Colonel Drew Stewart. He's hiding in there in the number 12. Uh, he's, he's sort of shy that way. Uh, thank you, Drew, for coming in from Albany and helping us. Great seeing you. Uh, okay, we have uh, one of those things in New Hampshire that uh, Republicans are really horrible at. We have a special election in the New Hampshire House. Last term when we had special elections, we lost about 11 of 13. It was a bloodbath, right? Well, so we have a special election. Um, my good friend, many of us know him really well, uh, Representative Sean Morrison uh, needed to resign uh, for family and, and financial reasons. And so there's a special election over in Epping. And um, they've got a, a woman running there, uh, Naomi, uh, which I like the name Naomi. <laughs> Naomi Andrews, who, who uh, they've been trying to get her into office in New Hampshire for a while now. So, so she must be somebody's favorite. But right now we've got two Republicans running. Um, a lot of us know Mike, Michael Voss. Michael Voss uh, is not with us today. He's uh, overseas. Um, but the, the friend that he's uh, competing with is uh, Cody uh, Belanger. Bellinger? Belanger. The first. The first? Bellinger? Belanger. Belanger. Okay. Come on up, Cody, and, and correct me. So, so we need Cody or we need Mike. Uh, I like them both. I have a lot of respect for them both. And uh, Cody is a selectman in um, in Epping currently, and has stepped forward to uh, to try to keep that seat. Thank you, Jess. I just want to first of all, I want to throw the uh, thank you to Jess. Uh, for inviting us and his wife Naomi. I just, uh, everybody, just give him a round of applause. Thank you, Justin and Naomi, for this. I'm going to step away from the speaker here. Um, some of you know me from working on Eddie's campaign. By the way, Eddie, love you. You're great. Eddie and Cindy, they're great. Thank you for coming, guys. Um, one thing I want to say before I throw my little thing in here, uh, if you don't know, the, the newly formed Rockingham County Young Republicans are having an uh, ice cream social. We stole this idea from Chris Pappas because, well, Republicans can do it better, right? So we would like to invite all of you. It's $10. We have Bill O'Brien confirmed to speak, although you all heard him here today. And we have um, Don, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Bullock uh, also attending. So um, when Sean stepped down, I was currently serving on the uh, GOP exec board and as the area for Straff uh, area chair for Rockingham and Stratford counties. And I tried to talk him out of it because as Jess clearly pointed out, we can tend to lose badly in special elections. So I talked him out of it, tried to talk him out of it, but uh, it kind of went in one. If you know Sean, he's very set in his ways and it goes one ear, in one ear and out the other. Um, so I kind of immediately stepped into, well, now what? Uh, nobody else has been talking about it. Um, I knew what I wanted to run in 2020. I am a child of the system, both juvenile justice and DCYF. If you Google my name, the first thing that comes up is a Foster's article when I drove a car for my friend who <laughs> got into a disagreement. And because I was guilty by association, I was guilty in the eyes of the law. So I got involved because to the police officers, no offense Eddie, I was guilty. And all I was guilty of was driving a car. Uh, so the idea is, is that you know we're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, but not always the case. So I, I wanted to get involved for that. I'm also involved with uh, DCYF system, so that's why I got involved. But as I'm out there knocking on the doors, I'm working a really hard ground game. I learned that working the last election cycle. Um, I found that the best thing you can do is knock on doors. See, dogs love to play. I don't know. <laughs> you can't interrupt that. Uh, 
but um, I've got a really good ground game, and I, you know, Mike and I um, are both respectful towards each other, uh, and I've told him point blank, if he wins, I will 110% support him in the general. Naomi Andrews is a transplant from Washington, D.C. She recently just got married, and her husband, her new husband's Facebook page says he lives in Washington, D.C. Now, if you ask me, who's getting married in 30 days, I live with my fiancé. Thank you, sir. I live with my fiancé, but if you don't live with your wife, I don't know what to tell you there. There's something else going on. So, that's right. So, if I make it through the primary, which I hope I do, I'm gonna come after her tenfold, and the Democrats are not gonna know what hit them. I'm ready for a fight. We are gonna win this, not me. We are gonna win this for Epping. Thank you, guys. Clock TV.